Now then, people, and welcome back to the Just Joe Football Show, and it's time for another video. Now, we are going to be talking about um, a difficult topic, I, I, I would say, um, because I think the game has moved on, and this conversations to be had maybe about mental health and the way that we value individuals and players as as people nowadays and less so much as commodities. Um, we're going to be talking about Ben White and um, whether Ben White was right to pull out of in England international duty. Has he let his country down as some archaic views may come out? And, you know, it's the greatest honour ever bestowed upon a footballer, etc., which, you know, for me... Um, would I love to play for England? Yes. Um, but there are loads of different um, facets and reasons as to why someone might choose to pull out uh, from international duty, not least even just to stop injuries, etc. You know, I was listening whilst out on my dog walk today uh, to stick to football and hearing, hearing Gary Neville um, speak about how Ferguson back in the day would make deals with international managers at the time and saying, right, OK, well, you can have these three players, but you're not having these. So he might send like Andy Cole, Phil Neville, but you're not having Beckham, Gary Neville, Nicky Butt or, you know, whoever the players may be. Um, but this one seems a little bit different. This one's a little bit nuanced, not least because um, there seems to have been a fallout between Ben White and um, one of the coaching staff, Steve Holland, over what seems to be, for me anyway, a really nominal topic and, and not something that needed to even be uh, fallen out over. Like, ultimately, Steve Holland has asked... Um, ben White, a question relating to Arsenal's season that he asked Kyle Walker, and Kyle Walker knew the answer to. Again, we don't know what these numbers are. Ben White didn't know the answer, at which point Steve Hollands then proceeded to dress him down because he doesn't like football. For me, what does that matter? Like, Ben White, for me, is a phenomenal footballer. I had the joy of watching Ben White at my football club for a full season. And, you know, we just lost out on Pontus Janssen. I wasn't too asked. I liked Pontus, but I was worried. I think all of us were. Ben White came in having worked his way up through the pyramid whilst on loan at Brighton. I think he was at Newport. Then he went to uh, Peterborough. Then he came on loan to Leeds before a successful season in the Premier League with Brighton. Then getting a big money move to Arsenal. I could see. And, you know, that, that he was always going to the top. There's a clip that I'm going to share here of... and. Apologise for the audio quality and the picture quality. As you can see, the con contents uh, come on some some um, some levels since then. Please do like this video. The international break is tough for content creators. So any sort of interaction, be it a like, be it a share, be it a comment, massively helps the YouTube algorithm. But back then I did a, a little feature for Sky Sports where I was asked, you know, the players of the season. And I mentioned both Calvin and Ben White at the time and said Ben White would go on to play for England. I said he was a Rolls Royce of a footballer. Did I think that would be at centre-back? I did. As it turns out, Graham Potter seen him more as a right-back, and he's continued in that great form whilst at Arsenal. Could still play on the right of a back three, could play at right-back, has a great relationship with Saka, and uh, let's not forget Arsenal are in the quarter-final of a Champions League and, and, you know, at the top of the Premier League and fighting for a Premier League title, and he's a massive mainstay in this side. Um, so quality footballer, and uh, Leeds fans do have fond memories, so maybe that's why I, I, I feel like I almost have to back his corner a little bit, because... I personally don't think he is wrong to, to, to pull out of England duty if he doesn't feel that um, he can add value or just doesn't want to play international football, would rather stay at home with his family and um, not be involved with the media circus that can be England. I'm disappointed because I think he could have a part to play. Would he start? No, but he would have a part to play. Um, for me, this is the one of the best England generations that we've ever had. People will talk about the, um, you know, the golden boys, that golden era with the likes of Cole, Rio, um, Beckham and Cole, Gerard Lampard, etc. But we never really liked many of them. You know, I now look at this squad of players, the likes of Rice, Jude Bellingham, Bakaya Saka, even Kobe Mano, 
who's come in. And I expect Archie to be involved at some point. Harry Maguire. You, Harry Kane. I like these individuals. I can't lie to you. So it's disappointed that, that Ben White won't be a part of that because I, I think there's a big chance that, that England go on to win the Euros and, and he could be a part of that squad and it'd go down in history. The last time England won a major tournament, of course, was 1966. I think... You know, we will win it. I do think we will win the Euros, regardless of who's in charge. I know many will say Southgate, but they might win in spite of him, although I do uh, back Southgate. But let's get into the crux and uh, the actual details on how this is unfolded. And I want you to get your opinion uh, come the end of the video. Who's in the right? Who's in the wrong here? So the situation does appear complex, OK? Um, he made a decision to withdraw from international football. Um, he asked Edu to contact Gareth and say to him, basically, I don't want to be um, considered for selection. Now, I've seen Danny Mills, for example, say this is disrespectful, um, say he's not being a man um, by not having that phone call himself. Ben White's a shy character. Ben White's a shy guy. Um, we know that. He's not one for the limelight. He's not one to thrust himself to the front. Uh, we know that when he was at Leeds United, he forged a good relationship with Calvin. They became really good friends. And Calvin, equally, is similarly a shy lad. That's maybe why they gravitated to, towards each other. How do you feel about that, first and foremost? I think, for me, football has moved on. Like, men have moved on. Men are more willing to speak about their emotions and, and, and things of the like. Now, if this was back in the day, can you imagine the media circus around it? People like Danny Mills, who who has said, you know, he's not a man. I don't agree with that, but this would be front and centre. This would be front page news, genuinely, back in the 90s. I can imagine it now. Football's um, moved on. If, if Ben White doesn't feel... Um, well, maybe he doesn't feel he owes a conversation, first and foremost, to Gareth Southgate and to Steve Holland over what, what happened, over what transpired whilst getting ready for the, for the World Cup. Um, but I don't think that's that big of an issue, you know? Um, how do you feel about that? Should Ben White have been that person to have made that conversation? Does he owe fans of football, England fans, an explanation? I personally don't think he does. If he don't want to play, he don't want to fucking play. Like, it is what it is. Um, but, yeah, he's made that decision. Apparently, it was influenced by an incident involving a comment made by Steve Holland, England's assistant coach, okay? This was during the World Cup in Qatar. Um, Southgate, the England manager, mentioned, uh, you know, that, that White had made it clear that he doesn't want to be considered for selection for the national team. That could change under a new manager. I, don't, I do think, regardless of what happens uh, in, in the summer, Southgate will leave. Um, I will laugh my back off if it's to go manage Manchester United because I think club football, he is not the one. Um, but even if he wins a major tournament, I don't think he stays for the World Cup. I think he's, his time um, is done. Um, ultimately, though, whether Ben White is right to pull out of England duty is subjective. Okay, It depends on, on a person's perspective, on, the, um, on a number of different, you know... Um, Re reasons really um what do how important is it for a player and a coach to have a good relationship um you know because we've known over the years that many players have not got on with certain coaches and still managed to do do the business so um ben white obviously feels that the incident involving steve holland means that he can't go to the camp and perform to the best of his ability now what happened in this incident well it reportedly occurred as i say in qatar in 2022 uh, and it is alleged that steve holland made a comment in front of the england squad that suggested white was not sufficiently interested in football who gives a shit like genuinely that's my first reaction there are many footballers that see this as a job Ben White is lucky enough to be of sufficient level to not have to care. Like, we all care about football, and maybe we find it hard to, to understand that logic. But imagine, imagine not caring about your job, but being so good at it that you did it anyway. Like, that's lucky for me. Like, I think that's really lucky that he's in a position to be that good at football and not care. Um, it's it's wild actually when you think about it because you 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 do think about the level of um, skill and application and training it must take. So he must have some sort of care. But why Steve Holland's asked about this is is beyond me. I don't understand his logic. 
like. Um, so basically, the comment was made after White was unable to answer a question about Arsenal's performance. Um, he'd asked Kyle Walker a question about Manchester City. Kyle Walker responded. He then asked Ben White. Ben White said, I don't know. Like, and apparently he's had a go at him. Now, they said, like, oh, he's giving him a bit of a dressing down, maybe in front of other pros. Maybe Ben White didn't like that. Listen, I remember seeing a clip of Calvin during England duty, and he was walking up the stairs, and I don't know which players were sat at the bottom of the stairs, but one of them went, oh, you're going to call Ben? And they were just laughing it off. Now, we know that Changing rooms, I assume, can be quite difficult places to operate in for shy, reserved guys, potentially, right? This is all guesswork from me, this part, by the way. But I did see that at the time, and obviously Calvin was at Leeds, and I was like, my back went up. I went, why are they trying to take the piss out of my boy? Why, why, are they, why are they winding him up? And maybe because of that dressing down, maybe, you know, Ben White could have also received stick from his teammates after that. Oh, you're going to, you know, a bit of winding up, and maybe he didn't want to be a part of that. But for me, it just seems like a trivial issue. Why Steve Holland's even asked that he doesn't like football. What does it matter as long as he's playing and playing to a sufficient level? Um, now, Steve Holland has not publicly responded to, the, to this incident, um, you know, that, that occurred at the 22 World Cup. However, Gareth Southgate has addressed the situation, stating there is no issue between White and Holland and that the door remains open for White's return to the national team. I call cap, you know, I call... BS. There is enough of it, obviously, on Ben White's side. Um, Southgate did go on to emphasise that there was never any issue with Steve Holland. Um, however, we know that now not to be true, right? There's no smoke without fire. Reporters have contacts. They'll have got stuck into the players and said, look, what's really happened here? And they'll have said, this is what's happened, right? Now, Ben White himself has previously admitted he was never a football fan when he was younger and rarely watches matches at all, even to this day. It's unique, but there are players that do exist, right? That, that don't. I remember the guy at Spurs, what was his name? It was Benwu Asu Okoto who, who said on a number of times, you know, this is a job for me. Um, but Ben White's admission was that he, he a fan of the sport growing up and that he seldom watches games even now, um, which, which is quite rare among players at the elite level, which is where Ben White's at. You know, he's playing for Arsenal Football Club. So obviously this perspective then contributes to a different approach to his career and his interactions within the sport. Him playing for England probably isn't that big of a deal. So he's probably not asked. And if it, maybe he wants time with his girlfriend. Maybe he wants time with his family. Maybe he don't want a summer. He wants a summer to have a holiday, not to go play football. Like, how, like for me, obviously, I find that hard to comprehend. But for him... Like, he needs a holiday. It's, it's mad how relaxed I feel about the, the topic. Maybe because it's Ben White. But I just think we as individuals, especially as men, have just come on to think, do you know what? If he ain't that asked, he ain't that asked. Who gives two hoots? So obviously this, this, not dislike, but maybe not infatuation with football that, say, maybe like a Wayne Rooney had, for example, um, this might have played a part in his decision regarding, you know, international duty. He's gone. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. Then he's got shit off the coach for not knowing something about a sport that he's not really that asked about and thought, I don't need this. I'm gone. Now, this is where I then start to think of all these people that are coming out and saying it lacks respect. He's not a fighter. I would do any... Yeah, I hear it. But Ben White's his own man. And of course, it sparked, like, various reactions from ex-pros and commentators. I heard... Harry Redknapp, like, say this disrespects the names of the likes of Bobby Moore, etc. And again, it almost feels like to me, like Danny Mills came out, as I said, and was quite vitriolic with some of the stuff he said. It almost feels like a generational thing, like, like dudes are just shouting at clouds. But also, folks, it could be a sign of the changing times. There is that much football in the calendar now for, for top clubs that are fighting on all fronts. Maybe there's even a conversation to be had about scrapping this March International altogether. It's a wild international, especially when you consider it's friendlies. Obviously, Wales, Finland, competitive. But the rest are friendlies. We've only got eight games, ten games left. People are fighting for titles, and you're expecting them to go away to pay a pointless friend friendly. It is a bit wild, but that's. I guess we're not really here to talk about that topic. The football calendar is what it is. But players... 
is this going to become the norm that players would prefer club over their country? Um, because it might become more common in the future um, that, that players value time with families due to the amount of football uh, they're expected to play and want to have a holiday because of the amount of football they expected to play. So could this decision become more common in the future as players weigh their commitments and the demands of a packed football calendar? But just to summarise, folks, like my opinion on it, Ben White don't want to play international football. He don't want to play international football. It's his decision. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. It's totally fine. If he feels that his relationship with Steve Wallen can't be repaired enough for him to enjoy international football, then don't go because you're not going to get the best Ben White anyway. I hope one time down the line, maybe he makes it, you know, he changes that decision because I do think he's a top footballer and he's certainly a player that can add something, especially when you consider players will be getting a little bit too older now you know the likes of Kyle Walker and stuff the fact that he can play a number of positions and he has such a great relationship with Bakaya Saka down the right hand side uh, for me you know he, he, he can be used but I just think all this archaic view of like he's letting his country down and he needs to be a man they need to get in the bin they need to get with the times and just relax, man. I think it's wild. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please make sure you like the video. Um, subscribe to the channel. Get your comments in. Interact, please, because the international break is tough. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Was Ben White right to turn down uh, the chance to play for England based on this? Is it that big of an issue? Is it club over country anyway every day of the week? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for indeed watching this video if you've stayed till the end. And I'll see you in a bit. Peace out.